was it? What do you see? As it twists itself beneath our feet Hi guys, welcome back to another full review video and in today's video we are going to be covering up the Galaxy J2 Ace. Let's just reserve an issue which I talked about in my last video which was the unboxing that I told you this is like basically a grand prime plus for India. Now if you actually go to the Android benchmark, go to the info, look at that CPU model. What does it say? A grand prime plus LT. Like what Samsung? You just rebranded a phone for India. Why Samsung did this? Cause they have actually rebranded this phone like two to three times in India already like the grand prime original the grand prime plus with 4g the on 5 another one i guess and this time it's still the same but a bit of a better version so let's just uh, take a look at the grace ux now this grace ux is something like a portrait from the galaxy note 7 and you would see this in the galaxy s7's no good update and the tst technology combined with it it's very fast it's even faster uh, when compared to my galaxy s7 in some parts or neck to neck like you, if you have to open an app you can just tap it and it's ready and open also this grace ux brings new a ton of features now this uh, in terms of features, this is the most feature-packed device of the Samsung lineup. I'm not talking about the Galaxy S7 that has some hardware features, but in terms of software, Samsung has cramped down everything in here. Almost their secret apps also work like the Good Lock, the Game Box Launcher. Everything is working just fine in this, not even the mid-range or low range. But if you go to software info, it's still running Marshmallow. Not bad, yeah, to be honest, in order, because uh, this uh, software which is running, it's not a touch with. It's a Grace UX and it's a very good software also you do get security patches this is a december one as you can see the ui is very wide if you go to the display you get a screen saver status bar font outdoors mode now outdoors mode it's not still uh, like a worse than j one four g but it's still a considerable like a boost in brightness if you want to see in the sunlight you can see some uh, shit in sunlight but if you have specs on uh, no it's very hard you can go to the wallpapers and themes here are some of your wallpapers a few themes now in terms of galaxy s7 if you go to the themes you also have like an option to choose your icons but over here it's not present go to the advanced features you can lock and hide apps pretty cool because the launcher in this thing it has doesn't have like any of the option one handed operation is also available here on a five inch display you can basically enable it and tap it thrice and it basically makes your screen display much smaller and the panic mode which is first time announced over here panic mode was present on the grace ux from the Note 7, but they just removed it from the galaxy s7 no good update you can basically send sos messages by tapping the lock button three times very helpful if you are in a bad situation you get the device maintenance which is just a replacement of smart manager but a better one if you go to the battery you get the power sync mode and you can actually customize it now you also get the s power planning from the prime series now i will not cover up this i have separate video made up for them like the uh, top most eight features of galaxy uh, j2 se please be sure to check out that if you want the whole like list of features in depth review now in terms of battery life i have charged this device till 100 last night and i used it quite a lot due to some testing and and to benchmarking and everything and uh, it's still at 77 percent which is good still it's a 1.5 gigs of ram if you compare it with the mediatek processor of a, a grand prime 4g which also had same this is a 200 megahertz boost over here and this 200 megahertz boost uh, makes it quite fast i will show you some benchmarking later on here is the snock security other things are the same even if you go to developer options samsung kindness to developers too you have the oem unlocking so if you want to unlock the bootloader it's present over here if you come to the home screen you get the normal home screen the wallpapers the widgets and themes you also get the secure folder from the prime series but um, many of the apps have been light skinned that basically how the samsung works with the low rangers to uh, keep the ui very fast but in terms of uh, like software features samsung has usually just uh, slammed this device with everything they have got the game launcher the music and video apps from the nougat and marshmallow everything usb ot is also present over here pretty good thing the s secure everything is over here if you pull down the notification panel you have a all new notification panel whereas compared to the other ones here it is there is a two time swap down you can adjust the brightness and the outdoors mode the torch torch you can also adjust it from here this is the basically like a no style notification panel of Samsung which is kind of cool because you can expand literally every other notification toggle 
mobile data s bike mode is also present over here the ultra data saving again if you want the whole list of features how they work please check out the another video where which i made you get the s power planning pretty cool stuff secure folder power setting, secure folder the torch and everything pretty good now in terms of camera uh, this is the same camera as the grand primes 2014 uh, setup like the 8 megapixel rear with high sharpness software effect as you can see it's going somewhere over here you can't see really through the camera but the preview is very like high sharpened also the front has a like 5 megapixel wide angle lens and it's truly wide angle lens actually also front flash now if you come to the front camera basically you have to you get a new camera app for that so you have to come back to the camera by like this that's me it's not uh, the clearest thing at all but if you go to the flash you get a front facing flash and a screen flash so if you're running out of brightness uh, samsung got you covered go to the left you get the wide angle selfie the sound shot pretty good i don't even know who uses sound shot you get the pro mode we all know this is not pro at all panorama night mode night mode i have not checked it but now here are some sample shots i clicked it with this thing the camera is pretty good uh, in a very bright light they come out really pretty good now in terms of video recording it doesn't have any kind of video stabilization so the video sometimes kind of like gets jittery and the focus is pretty good it's not the fastest but it's still focuses which is a good thing for some even, even like cameras at this price point don't even do that now if you come to the processor here is the antutu benchmark over here 35k and it was very hot when i like uh, benchmark it so it can easily get to the 40k uh, mark uh, somewhere between a moto g4 and g4 plus which is a very good thing samsung never does that but uh, again listen this is a mediatek processor so the game so here is a example of asphalted running on this thing now on high settings it just uh, lags and it's mostly unplayable but uh, medium setting it's playable like very much but in terms of like uh, optimization this uh, device is very good as you can see over here 1.4 gigahertz quad core mali t720 mali uh, processor are really not optimized at all even though uh, galaxy s7 it's a flagship it has a mali t880 it's not that good in terms of sensors you get a proximity sensor and accelerometer which is a must to play like games and look at itself otherwise nothing is installed over here but this is a perfect example how you can resell your phone <laughs> Uh, like almost four to five times in the same market like well job samsung so the final verdict is if you want a good device under of 8500 also you are a big fan of uh, samsung's touch with ux and you want to explore something new with the samsung surely go for this device because this device only cost around 8500 rupees in retail store so it's a very good deal i can't even like suggest any other good phone in this price point uh this time because uh, the same with the j1 4g review i uh, keep on like uh, complimenting my u euphoria how it uh, how i buy i bought this for 4000 and it's very good phone but still this phone is uh, not that bad but it only records a 720p from both of the camera i know it's pretty weird uh, that the grand prime came out in 2014 had like a lower processor and it could record 1080p from both the front and the back side which is a very awesome thing and this doesn't have it so guys thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel for more android trips and tricks and hope you guys to see you around peace